Emily, here we go. First text for you. Do you have any planners or other tools that you're using right now to help you get more done in a day? There's a lot of people who are texting and saying, you know what? They're very distracted lately. How do we focus? Absolutely. I love the productivity planner. I actually have it here with me. Super basic. You can get it on Amazon, but it just helps you map out what are the most important tasks of the day. Priority number one. Um, number two, and then what are the other things that it's awesome if it gets done, but no big deal if not. I have found writing things down, it ensures that you're going to move your business forward, your life, get all your tasks done and feel really good at the end of the day. All right, next one coming in for you, Emily. My business is slow right now. It is discouraging. I'm sure a lot of people are feeling this. Uh, how do I stay connected and passionate? 100%. You're not alone. What I recommend is come back to why you started your business in the first place, reconnect, sharpen some skills, use this time to sharpen your skills for sure, um, and get creative on social media, no matter what we do, what we sell, what how we serve, there's always a different way we can share on social media, collaborate with others. In my personal business right now, I have made calls to other people out there and I'm collaborating with them and staying passionate to do Facebook Lives, Instagram Lives, and then and also cross referring and it'll help you stay passionate and just know that you are not alone in this too shall pass mm. yeah we're uh, uh you know a month and change into this now the next text is the longer i work from home the less separation there is between my life and my job people are starting to feel a little bit of burnout what uplifting can you suggest yeah absolutely you're gonna you know, it's like everyone feels this way where there's no separation. And so what you need to do is have your, your task list, have your hours of operation, and literally schedule in when you are going to have fun, when you're going to watch the movie, when you're going to make an awesome dinner, when you're going to take that walk. You, know, you have to schedule it in. Otherwise, it just it gets separated and there's no separation. Um, take a bath, unwind, read a book. And, and I really recommend in your home have a designated area where you are working. So your brain is just going to know this is where I work. And this is where I relax. Okay, that's good to know that. All right, next one coming in. Um, I'm finding it more difficult not to snack so much while working at home. The fridge is 20 feet away. I would say at my desk here at work, one of our <laughs> reporters, Giacomo Luca, had the, like a giant amount of snacks and he's out of the building now. Now his giant amount of snacks is down to virtually nothing. And I own that. So how can we cut back on this? <laughs> yes, first of all, stay away from the kitchen. Have your have your snacks planned out. You know, most of us were used to going to a job where we bring our food with us and so it's much easier now it's just there all the time so what I recommend is have it planned out be planned know what your snacks are um, plan your dinners plan your lunches and actually take a break to sit and enjoy and chew and ingest your food um, and if you're really trying to watch it what I recommend is Everything you eat, keep the wrap, wrap around the counter, and you'll see at the end of the day how much you ate, how much you yeah. snacked. But, and, and then also just drink tons of water, tons of water, more than you're even used to. Okay, the next one is uh, coming in, Emily, for you, 916-321-3310. I'm out of work right now. What should I be doing aside from scouring job boards? Is that the main thing? Uh, do you do that until something happens? Do you need to take a break? What do you suggest? Mm -hmm. I, I recommend we all take breaks, but don't live there. We, we have to move on, all of us do. And so what I would do is, yes, be looking for a job for sure, but also, you know, be looking at ways you can sharpen your skills, be, you know, talking to people that help people find new jobs that, you know, you're able to go take an online course or something like that so that you're able to scale up. Um, so when this is over and, and when people are hiring again and things have shifted, you're going to have more options. But I, I definitely think and believe you should have something part time that you can focus on, that you can work on, and you obviously can bring an in income for your family. My friend Woody is uh, working from home now. He's been on the road his whole life. He's now home. In the middle of the day, he stops down and goes on his bike for like 25 miles. Is there something like that? Do you is, recommend things like that? 
hundred percent. Yeah. Get out there. Uh, I'm here in Santa Monica and you know, I'm taking long walks, my dog on a long walk, bike rides, anything you can do to get out. Um, keep reading, keep meditating, keep praying. We need to like amp up our spiritual life, our emotional life, our physical life now more than ever. A hundred percent do all those things. Good to know. Being in Santa Monica uh, is good too. <laughs> you're already, <laughs> you're way ahead of the game on that. All right, Emily, thank you.